Welcome back to the Heads Up Show. I'm Steve, and you must be here because you got a thing for football helmets. Today, we're building a Vices Zero Two Medium Dark Green Adult Helmet. Big shout out to Brady B in California. This is your build. Thank you for your purchase. So let's talk a little bit about this helmet before we continue. You're gonna see on the desk here a whole bunch of different pads. This is a medium helmet, but there are no inflation points. They come without inflatable pads because you can swap the pads out and you can see in here the variety of sizes and thicknesses. So you can go anywhere from half inch all the way up to one inch and all of these pods, they just come in and out. So they're in there with Velcro, pretty strong Velcro, and then these little snap triangles. They're calling them Delta pods. I don't care what you call them. I just think it's pretty clever. Keep in mind too that this helmet is very different. It has a flexible shell. The outer shell is unlike most helmets where it's, it's pretty flexible. Then on the inside, if you pull this main padding out, you'll see there are these columns that bend and crush and then bounce back. Then the hard shell, then the padding. It's um, really unlike any other helmet. And I gotta say, when you put this on your head, it's like sitting in a Mercedes 600. I mean, this thing is nice. I'm gonna take some artistic liberties here with this build if you don't mind. So Brady chose the white Riddell hard cup chin strap. These helmets will accept just about any chin strap. What I did was um, I gifted him with white sports star buckles because I think it'll just look a lot better against that than the stainless steel buckles would. I'm gonna throw on this little green gridiron front bumper. Typically all of our helmets come with free 3D bumper upgrades. We just think our logo looks super cool. And I think you agree. Okay, so he also bought this thin blue line, American flag commonly representing supporting police departments. What I'm doing is putting this on where I would put it if it was my helmet, but just in case I'm wrong, I'm going to give him an additional one. And if you don't like the placement of this one, just peel it off and sorry, but I think that looks pretty good. So the face mask style, Z-O-2-S-O-2-1-2-E, SS. I know. It's like these codes just, they kill me. There is a rhyme and a reason though. It's two bars, then one bar, and then the E for eye guards and the SS for stainless steel. It's like, man, I don't expect you to know these codes, but for you face mask connoisseurs that want to know the style, there you have it. So I put the face mask hardware on there already. Typically they come on the helmet. I'm going to show you the way I do the visors. You can install them before they go on the helmet or after. I look at it like if you have the face mask off, you might as well put the visor on at that point. I just think it's a little easier. Obviously, Oakley, quite a large brand. They've been in optics for a long time. They know what they're doing. That is a ridiculously perfect fit. I've noticed in the past when I do this, if you don't put the chin strap on before you put the face mask on, it's pretty difficult. So you take this, slide this in place, and then buckle it in. And like I said, this helmet, Brady chose a Riddell hard cup. You can put almost anything on them. All right, cool. And now face mask. You wanna make sure you're centered. We're good. Press and then make sure your visor is up out of the way. Tilt this down. Take your screws. Put them in 
place. So while I'm finishing this last screw, let's talk about pricing on this. So all in this helmet with the face mask, the visor and the chin strap, this is somewhere right in the thousand to $1,050 range. We ship free anywhere in the USA. We assemble for free. You get a free helmet bag and a couple of other upgrades. You know, the helmets are not cheap. Um, we have a bunch of these in a bunch of different colors. Helmets are $7.99, so you can go anywhere from $800 to about $1,200 currently. But I gotta tell you, this is one awesome looking helmet. And I'm gonna give it a quick wipe down. And I just wanna say again, thank you for watching. We are always looking for suggestions. So if there's anything that you wanna see, you let me know. Do you approve of this helmet? Thanks for sticking around. And until next time, cheers.